Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm talking you through how to do this Snapchat inspired butterfly filter makeup look. First of all, I'm just gonna pin my hair back, then let's get straight to it. To prime, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because we need to have that perfect camera ready skin in this look. So I'm just applying that primer, then moving on to the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This is not an everyday natural makeup look, it is a full coverage look. So it needs a full coverage foundation. Next, let's move on to brows, using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil to just fill in my brows. This is a super affordable and easy way to get that full brow look. And to set my brows, I'm using the Primark Clear Brow Gel. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So first of all, I'm taking the yellow, kind of like banana set powder and I'm just using that as a base to even out my lids before moving straight into this middle contour shade. I'm just going to very lightly roll that along the deepest part of the crease. I don't want to have too much color but I definitely want to add some depth there. For the lid color today I'm using the Morphe 12S palette and taking this light golden shade all over the lid up to the crease. You can use any gold eyeshadow for this. Finally, I'm going back to that darkest contour shade and just roll in there in the deepest part of the crease. Very gently, take your time on this. I'm also going to use this as eyeliner. So taking an angled liner brush, I'm just going to apply that along the upper lash line. For mascara today, I'm using the Rimmel London Volume Colorist. Now what I like about this mascara is that it gradually tints your lashes over time, which I think is pretty cool. For lashes, I'm using the Lily Lashes Kuwait Galici Glam Collection Lashes, and I'm applying those as always using my House of Lashes glue because it is the best. Let's do some color correcting using the Smashbox color correcting stick. Now if you tilt your face forward, you should see the deepest part of that under eye circle. That's where you wanna apply your color corrector. For blush, we're using the Daniel Sandler watercolor blush in the shade Golden Glow. Now this is a watercolor blush, so it's supposed to be a light blush of color, nothing too heavy, and it is so subtle and beautiful on the skin. Using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Blanc, I'm just going to conceal my under eye area. Now, this is a foundation, but it is the most pigmented foundation I think I've ever tried, and it is incredible for getting that full coverage look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and then blend it out once again using that same Miracle Complexion sponge. And as you can see, this is really giving that flawless finish take your time on this and you want to definitely go for at least two shades lighter on your highlight for this look. Using the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder, I'm just gonna set that foundation. Now that we've set our base, let's move back to contouring. Taking that medium shade from the Shade and Light palette, I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheeks along the top of my forehead also down the sides of my nose to bring a little bit more definition there and definitely under the chin. I'm also going to run this on the lower lash line before applying one more coat of that Rimmel Volume Colorist Mascara on the lower lashes. Next up, highlight. Let's go for the Mary Luminizer because I haven't used this in what feels like forever. So I'm applying a, a lot of that. Let's just say a lot of that along the highest points of my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, under my brows, just, just basically all over my face. Yeah, it's going everywhere. Also the inner corners of my eyes and why not just put it on your eyelids as well. For lips today, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Nude. So I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my lips before starting to just feather in the outer corners. For lipstick today, I'm using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked. I didn't actually like how this lipstick looked. I feel like it was too dark, so I went over it using the Rimmel London 40 Kate Moss Lipstick. And I definitely feel like this was a nicer, lighter color. Finishing the lips with the Marc Jacobs Lip Balm. Of course, you can use any lip balm or lip gloss to do this. 
With our makeup complete, there's just one thing missing. How I made my butterflies. It's so simple to do. We're gonna need a pack of paper butterflies, some spray adhesive, and of course, some glitter. Also a box, because this gets real messy real quick. Place your butterfly in the box, just give it a spray using your spray adhesive, then sprinkle the glitter on. It is literally that easy to do. Wait for a minute or two and then lift it up and do the same on the other side. Just sprinkle that glitter and try and make sure you don't spill the box, because otherwise glitter goes everywhere. And that is it. That is how you make the butterflies. You just repeat as many times as you want. They're bendy, they fold. I bought these from Amazon and they actually come with magnets on the back. So I'm just taking a knife and I'm just gonna scrape off the glitter and the glue from the magnet. Now you can of course glue these to a hair clip. I'm just gonna use the magnet today on a hairpin because why not? It seems like a sensible thing to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and position some hair clips where I would like my butterflies to be. And then it's just a case of practicing, laying them out, seeing how they look. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. And then just moving them around until you get them in a place where you're happy with them. Now that you have your butterflies in place and ready to go, it's time to move on to the final part of this look. Using the NYX Glitter Primer, I'm just going to go ahead and map out where I'd like my golden trail to be. And for glitter today, I'm going to be using the NYX Glitter, and this is in the shade Gold. So go ahead and just dot a little bit of that glitter onto the areas where you apply to that primer. I did actually apply this slightly too low, but I'm committed, so I'm just going to go with it. And here's the finished look, my Snapchat butterfly filter inspired makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.